Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for following, thanks for tuning in. I'm Freetography. As we speak, I'm on my way to another amazing location. This is a time capsule house courtesy of Rhythm Rider. And uh, right now, while I'm driving and before we get to this location, I want you guys to do me all a favor. And right about now, there's going to be a button that pops up that says subscribe to Rhythm Rider. I want you guys to hit that button right now. Make sure you subscribe to my good friend Rhythm Rider. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be hitting this location right now. So, what we're going to do. While I'm driving, I'm going to play my music. I'm going to play my intro. You guys watch it. Get ready. I'll meet you guys inside, all right? See you in a bit. This abandoned time capsule house is the sort of house you wouldn't expect much from. However, once inside, you are totally amazed at what you find. Everything, for the most part, was just as the couple had left it before they passed away. This home was discovered in 2018 by my good friend Rhythm Rider Photography while he was out exploring in southern Ontario. We had both driven by this house in the past, but we never gave it any consideration. We really should have. This house definitely did have some mystery to it. Most things found in this house had a date of 1996. However, there were a few items such as bank records and a lottery ticket from 2002. The couple who lived here, Gordon and Irene, married and settled in Eremosa Township where they had a son. Gordon was a cattle farmer and his son carries on that tradition today. Gordon passed away at 84 years old in 1992 and Irene passed away at the age of 85 in 1996. Their son now lives in a different house on this sprawling property, and it seems that he used the house perhaps to live in for a brief period of time. Thanks to Rhythm Rider Photography for the location and also for this background. Okay, guys, here we are. Made my way inside. And uh, let's start with a nice, easy walkthrough, and let's check this place out. So far, it looks really cool. Take a walk back here. Got this amazing TV here. Holy shit, look at that. That's a nice old TV. Old fake fireplace here. Got some grandma's clothes there. All right. Here's a bedroom. Now, Rhythm Rider told me the power works. Yeah, there you go. So that'll help a little bit. Scooter. Messy bedroom, giant printer, there you go. So what I'll do first, like I said, I'm going to walk through, we're going to do a full walk through and just see the whole place, and then we're going to break it down and we're going to get a little bit more detailed and get some more close shots. This fridge is making a hell of a lot of noise right here. Try not to go too fast. I know you guys always complain I go too fast. Check out this old rotary dial phone. Up here to the oven. And uh, we got some food inside the oven. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and honey nut oats. Paperwork all over the place. Cool old radio here. Now we're moving on into the kitchen. There's some damage on, this, on the ceiling from water. Take a look outside there. Nice big piece of old furniture here. Singer sewing machine. Always love seeing those. Moving on into the living room, main living room area here. It's darker in here, so hopefully my camera will adjust. Coming on in, we got quite a bit of old furniture. There's an old chair there. Fireplace here. Christmas decorations. Big hole in the ceiling. 
see if I can get some light. There you go. You can see a little bit better. Old furniture. Alright, let's move on. So we can get to the more detailed stuff. Here's our master bedroom. Lights on. What is up, guys? Sears catalog, Christmas 1966. We'll look through that a little bit later. Old picture, painting. There's a hutch. And then you got somebody's uh, wig right there. There I am. What's up, guys? Back up so I'm not in the picture. You got your wig. Let's move on. Pink bathroom. Very nice. Everything's pink. Okay, guys, let's uh, take a walk around now and take a look at some of the more uh, fine details of this place. Starting from the very beginning of the house, here you've got a, uh, an eyeglasses case and a, and a letter that says, Lens from glasses, old lenses when I replaced right lens with new one. Downstairs at whatever that says. So there's a few things in here that are funny, such as this picture frame that has uh, a generic picture inside of it. All right. So now we're going to move over here, and there's this really cool old flashlight that obviously the battery is dead, but I'd love to see if I can make this thing work. That's really cool. I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to touch it. We have all kinds of books here. And you've got some knickknacks down here. Old, there's a lot of newspapers in this house. And then we'll open this up if we can. Oh, well, maybe this is a radio. What is this thing? I don't know what this thing is. It plugs in. Okay, just a minute, guys. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. It's a humidifier, guys. Check it out. Hoover humidifier. So it looks like it's just a piece of furniture, but on the inside, it's a humidifier. That is pretty cool. And here you've got some old bags here from Robinson's. And let's see what's inside this bag. Okay, hold on a second. Be right back. So inside this bag is a silverware uh, holder for your drawers to hold your silverware. We'll move back into this room here. And I showed you guys this earlier. You've got this old uh, motorized scooter for an elderly person. Up here, we got a photo on the wall of a wintry scene. And in the closet, well, what do we got in the closet? You've got Kleenex, Royale face tissue, and just a bunch of newspaper and you've got a whole lot of old clothes and shoes and you've got something here from a drugstore it's a it's a nice brand new shirt guys watch this this is a brand new shirt still in the box red plaid shirt size 15 and a half was in bedroom see there you go not even worn. Check this out. Shopper's Drug Mart. Look at this old Shopper's Drug Mart bag. Wow. This is a heating pad in here. From Shopper's Drug Mart. Lowest possible price on every item every day. Thanks, Shopper's Drug Mart. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. I don't want to like root through all of it. But there's a lot of stuff in there. Over here, too. Food, you got some crackers, you got some Pringles here. What we got here? Look at that. What kind of Pringles are these? 
Pringles reduced fat. 30% less fat barbecue flavor. Mmm. All right. Again, I don't want to rifle through too much of this stuff here. Now, they do say that sometimes old people stuff money under their mattress. Uh, but not under this one. I don't think I'm going to get that lucky twice in my lifetime to find money in a mattress. This is paper and stuff for the printer. And this is the big old printer. There you go. It's behind the door here. Ties and belts and stuff. Okay, let's move on to a different room now. Okay, we'll come over here and have a look inside this hutch. See what they got inside the well, china cabinet, I guess you'd call it. You got your lots of old china. Still perfectly in place, guys. Sugar dish with a spoon. Everything is exactly where grandma left it, guys. That is crazy. Look at this. It smells so old in here. Got in here. Nothing in there. Is this open? Hold on a sec, guys. Okay, I had to be really careful opening up this drawer so that the whole thing didn't come crashing down. But here we got some Parks Tonic. Will be of great benefit to you. It is combination of the medicinal and bodybuilding principles of cod liver extract, malt hypophosphites, and wild cherry. Pleasant and agreeable to take. It will not upset the weakest stomach. Good job. Kodak film. Easy to apply decal borders. Very nice floral print borders to decorate your house. What's up here? Nothing. Nothing. Paper for the printer. The old man liked this printer. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, guys, I thought I might get lucky and be able to uh, eat some 50-year-old or 20-year-old turtle chocolates. But no, it's a, uh, it's a note and memo pad set with pens and paper, unfortunately. But there's another calendar from 1993. Moving right along here, there's a bag here with some papers in it. I'm not going to bother opening that. But hey, what do we have here? We got some uh, some fruit, just some fake plastic fruit. Beautiful looking uh, clock here. It's got a it's got this thing here on top for the temperature. Beautiful clock, candle that's pretended to be melted. Wow. Hey, this something, eh, guys? What's in here? Three-ply serviettes. Look at that. Deluxe three-ply serviettes. They know what they're talking about with their three-ply. What's in this drawer? What's this? First anniversary of storybook romance. Look at that. It's Lady Di and Prince Charles and Prince William. Is that William? Yeah, that'd be Prince William. Huh. All right. What else we got in there? We just got a lot of china and stuff in there. What's this? This looks like a light bulb. What's that? Radiotron. Radio tube. Well, this is a radio tube inside here. And then got some other stuff. But we're not going to pick through it, though, guys, because I'm not interested in picking everything out here, okay? But we got a lot of stuff here, though. This people, these people definitely like the royal family. So you've got Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip are greeted by Prime Minister Trudeau and former Ontario Lieutenant Governor Pauline McGibbon. Wow, that's great. Good stuff, guys. There he is, looking very young and vibrant. Gotta be careful, I don't want to rip these things. Somebody might come back and want this stuff one of these days, you know? Now, okay, I'm not going to look through the rest of that because it's got the people's names on it that used to live here. So we're just going to put this back. Be right back. Okay, check this out, guys. So in this top shelf, there's a lot of really old photos. So here we got a picture of this fine young lady here. And then when you open this up, you got a picture of a baby. 
right there, a little baby. And then you got another baby. Might be the same baby. Is this baby right here? What we got here. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Because this stuff is really old. Oh, there's another baby. There you go. Very old black and white photo of a very old little baby. All right. Put that over there. Put that back where I found it. Just like that. And we're going to put it back inside. And we're not going to mess with it, okay? What do we got in here? Yeah, we just got some scarves and stuff in here. So that's pretty much it for this drawer here, guys. Sorry if I'm moving a bit fast. But there you go. We're going to close this up and we're going to move along. Be right back. Okay, now, guys, we're going to move on into the living room. And we're going to wish ourselves good luck here. And we're going to come into the living room. And because we can... Oh, no. Where's the power? I need lights in here, guys. Maybe these lights here will work. Let's see. No, light bulbs are dead. Okay, I got to go get my flashlight. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so back in the living room. Here we've got a really fancy floor-to-ceiling lamp. Very popular back in a certain uh, era of time. And here we've got uh, birthday cards, mother's birthday cards. To my husband on his birthday, to my mother on your birthday. Okay. We've got a spoon collection here, silver plated spoons. A lot of fake plants right there. Right there, and then coming along this uh, this table here, you've got a, a plastic buck. You've got a congratulations on your 50th anniversary. And you've got lots of tacky, tacky stuff. Like this thing right here. I'm pretty sure my grandparents had this thing in their house, or a very similar version of that thing, that clock there more fake flowers what's in here my grandparents house always had special stuff in here nope it's empty guys okay moving along we got some religious stuff newspapers encyclopedias some pretty fancy furniture if you ask me and moving back over here to this side to the fireplace you've got some uh Whatever that stuff is. And moving along, you've got a photo of a little boy and a little girl. 50th anniversary plate, we saw that earlier. All right, let's move along to a different room and see what else we can find. Okay, guys, here's a doorbell right there. It took a bit of work to open this uh, closet door here, but we've got some really not nice coats. You got a fur coat right here that's been pretty much mangled over time. You got some hats up, up top here and some more coats. So not very nice, that's for sure. Okay, let's move on back here. Here we got some trinkets. These guys right here, down to these guys right here, and then right here to this seal right here. There's a big old seal. I wonder who bought them that. Okay, now we're back in the master bedroom here. And uh, I got the power on so I can put my flashlight away. And let's see what we got here. Got that thing right there. And looks like my cradle roll certificate and certificate of birth from somebody. Now, it's probably not in there. Let's have a look here. No, this is empty, guys. Okay? Empty. And then here, we've got some very old photographs. An old photograph book. Let's have a look and see what's in here, guys. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Pictures from newspaper clippings. Picture of a very pretty old, pretty lady. 
very rugged man riding a horse. All right. And that's pretty much it in this book right here. So I'll put everything back nice and careful the way we found it. And then here is another very old snapshot album. But there's no snapshots in it. It's like they bought it and then they forgot to do what they planned to do with it. So we're going to put that back where we found it. We're going to put that back right there. Remember, guys, if you're going to move stuff around in these places, have some respect and put it back. Okay? There we go. And we just got some stuff in there we're not going to worry about. And here is more what looks like photographs, maybe? Christmas cards or some kind of cards. Yeah, that's just random stuff in there. We're not going to rifle through it. We're just going to put everything back nicely, guys. All right, Food City. There you go. Food City. Does this thing here open? Yep. Whoa. Okay. Looks like we've got some sewing, some sewing materials here, guys. Some fabric. Yep, we have fabric and sewing materials in here. But we're going to put this lid back on the chair and we're going to put that back just the way it was everybody just like i said all right we don't want to disturb too much here's a phone it doesn't work but boy that's an old phone whoa and then what do we got in here guys this looks like uh christmas ornaments this is where she keeps her christmas ornaments guys i would like to make this phone ring See this, guys? Rotary dial phone. Crazy. And one moment. Okay, guys, moving along with some of the things I found here. We've got a beautiful necklace here to Grandma. And we're here we have some uh, earrings from the bay. That's about it, though. All right. Let's move on. Over here, we showed you this earlier. We have a wig placed on this mannequin head. We have a very old thing of Jurgen's lotion and a horse. Actually, that looks more like a unicorn. And another very fancy clock. Okay. And then there's that fan there. Here's an oldie, guys. Simpson Sears catalog, Christmas 1996. I mean, I 1966. This is unreal. Look at these guys. Hey, check out these guys with their with their robes on. This guy's got a tie on with his robe. Wow. There you go. <laughs> oh, there's the kids. Yeah, there they go. Having fun with their new clothes. Ooh, look at these shoes. They're, oh, look out. <laughs> wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. A little much here. We're getting a little deep into, uh-oh. <laughs> Careful, UBC. I think Carlo Pelota might have uh, read this magazine a few times. Look at this Viewmaster ad. That's cool. Huh. What's that? Oh, you can bring your film in. Okay. Anyways, there you go. Simpson Sears catalog, Christmas 1966. Okay, guys. So we took a look inside this closet here. And we've just got a lot of boxes up here. Probably with hats and stuff. And you've got a lot of grandma's dresses in the closet here a bunch of sweaters and coats and uh, a big old sears box but we're going to close this back up here but there's really not much to see in there other than a bunch of clothes check this out guys here's a uh a beautiful singer sewing machine look at that it's just an amazing condition look at that detail 
Wow. Look at this crazy weird lamp on this side. And you got another lamp here on this side. But man, that's beautiful. Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in. This has been a Ben Time Capsule House. Who knows how many I've been to over the last uh, seven or eight years. This house is pretty cool and uh, lots of really good stuff. It's nice and warm in here because there's still power. You can still hear the fridge humming away in the background. This nice TV here, this has been a really cool spot. Hope you guys have liked it. Comment down below. You guys like this place? What's your favorite thing in this house? What's the coolest thing you guys think I've found? Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Subscribe to my other page. My other channel, I'll put a link in the end of the video. I'll throw a little bit of a photo gallery in after this so you can scroll through the pictures, see the photo gallery, get to the end, make sure you follow me here, make sure you follow my other pages. And again, thanks for always subscribing to Freaktography. Stay tuned for the next adventure. Peace.